Cold rainy night here at Rita Carlton. Arizona Jackson is favored to return to the winner's circle, while Vanilla Malted moves up in class to challenge rivals Flash Cube, Major Hill, Caligny Hanover, and Monty's Gone Marble. Hugh trying to pick it up from second is James Reigns once again. As they turn at the top of the lane, Brasso looks comfortable with Beach Roller, looking strong, and draws off by three, maybe four, coming for the payoff. It's all Beach Roller. Beach Roller on the lead by four. Going to win this one, wrapped up in the end. On the outside, Von de Sud nailed James Reigns for the place into a one and two. Race one, official. Beach Roller, 310, 210, 210. Vent du Sud, 340, 230. James Reigns, 210. The Exactor was 1520. The Dollar Try, 2015. Dollar Super, 8170. Race two is next. Two year olds scratch the one. Jimmy Gagnon driving two. Twin B serial killer. Of 133, and they're on the final turn. Inuk Shuck Sally is sprinting away as she pleases. Leads by four lengths and looking strong, turning for home. It's all Inuk Shuck Sally. Red carpet ready is trying to stay for second. Pull your own strings is third and on the outside. Here is the wire, no surprises here. Inuk Shuck Sally by three. Pull your own strings with second. Red carpet ready, finish third in 203. There's the race two winner for Inuk Shuck Sally. Brown filly, two years old by Big Jim, out of the major in Art Mare, Camps Bay. Dean Larkin is the winning owner. Trained by Mandy Archer, driven to victory by Guy Gagnon. Inuk Shuck Sally in 2.03. 30 and one, 102 and two, 133, the mile in 203 flat. Jonah Jackson by two, La Barb from second, Red Cape Party is in third. The others have lots of work to do and time is running out. Arizona Jackson leads by three, La Barb is on the outside, Arizona Jackson never an anxious moment, wins by four in the end. La Barb second, Red Cape Party third in 157, home in 28 flat. Three years old by Better Than Cheddar. Out of Arizona Beach by Jenna's Beach Boy. The winning owner and breeder, Robin Morley. Trained by Kara Stacy. Driven to victory by Clark Stacy. Arizona Jackson in 157. 28 and 3, 59 and 2, 129 the mile, 157. Just a paid workout for Arizona Jackson. Pacers, Giddy Up Max is stalled with an eighth of a mile to go. Vines to Heaven kicks clear by three and is drawing away. It's all Vines to Heaven. Vines to Heaven by about four, coming for the wire down the center. Giddy Up Max. Here is the wire. Vines to Heaven doesn't disappoint. Knifing through in between was State News, but Velocity Impetuous was there in 159 and one. Trying to go all the way. The Colt is hanging tough as a horse can be. Late Night Dealer is right there from third with an eighth of a mile to go. And here comes Late Night Dealer. Sam Filion is pulling pocket on Jon Snow coming for the payoff. Jon Snow is all in. So is Late Night Dealer. Jon Snow or Late Night Dealer. Jon Snow gutted it out to win over Late Night Dealer. Two of them battling for the show spot. The mile 158 and one. Back-to-back -back wins on the program for owner Rachel Burns and trainer Mike Armstrong. Driven to victory by Flyin' Ryan Guy. Jon Snow in 158 and 1, 28 and 3, 58 and 1, 127 and 4, the mile, 158 and a fifth. Of a mile to go. Moonlight Boy is there as well. Splitting horses, head of the table, but it's all delicate sound. Delicate sound. Sprints clear. He leads by four, maybe five. It's delicate sound. A wrapped 
Cup winner. I'm a dude a good second. Springbridge Jim came through nicely for third in 158 and four. There's the winner of the sixth race. Number one, Delicate Sound. Big Elding, four years old by state treasurer out of the American Ideal Mayor, Eagle Kelly. Owned by Oral Harvey A. Feast Incorporated. Trained by Mark andre Simino. Driven to victory by the drummer, Pascal Barube. Delicate Sound in 158 and four. An open length score. 28 and three, a minute and one, 129 and three. The mile 158 and four fifths. For desperately needing a way through as they go by three quarters of 131 and four. Leaving with a smile is on the inside. Long shot, Senorita I am is second. Double gum looks live in the pocket. Looking for a seam is Midnight Maddie as they turn at the top of the lane. Langley Sealster is there as well, coming for the payoff. Leaving with a smile is all in and trying to seal the deal. Charging down the center of the racetrack. Up the inside is Double Gum and Kyle Forgey. Kyle Forgey, Double Gum, nails it on Plisayer and Senorita IM in 202 and two fifths. There's the winner of race seven, number three, Plisayer. A bay mare, five years old by He's Watching. Out of Desir by Goliath Bayama. Guy Corbet, the winning breeder. Owned and trained by Stéphane Gagnon, Jimmy Gagnon, the winning driver. Place here in 202 and 2, 28, 101 and 2, 130. Monty's gone, Marble is closing in out of the backfield. Vanilla Malted kicks clear, opens up three on Flash Cube. Major Hill not doing enough with an eighth of a mile to go. Vanilla Malted by three, maybe four. He's drawn off in this field. Vanilla Malted, an eased up winner. Tight for place, looked like Caligny Hanover over Flash Cube in 156 and one. Here returns Vanilla Malted, the winner. He's a big gelding, seven years old by Sweet Lou. Out of Sun and Moon by Arts Place. Luc Loyer is the winning owner-trainer, driven to victory by Jimmy Gagnon, his second winner on the program. Vanilla Malted, 156 and one. 28 and three. 57 and 4, 127 and 1, the mile 156 and 1. That is his 46th lifetime victory. Sylvia Toth in the winner's circle, along with Victoria and winning trainer owner Luc Loy. Is moving up nicely, but plenty to do still. He's in deep, deep water with an eighth of a mile to go. Western Phil is trying to see it through. He's under siege now, charging his time all peacemaker. Time all peacemaker, Western Phil. Time all peacemaker has come on by to win over Western Phil. Rock and Roll Nation salvaged third in 158 and 1. Here comes the winner of the ninth race. Number seven, Time All Peacemaker, Brown Gelding, nine years old by Mach 3, out of the Real Artist Mare, Flying Color. Second winner on the card for owner trainer Luc Loy. Third for Jimmy Gagnon, winning driver, Time All Peacemaker, seventh on the season, tonight's mile, 158 and 1. 28 and 4, 59 and 1, 127 and 4, the mile, 158 and 1 fifth. Out of the backfield is Dylan's Bank. He's at the rail. And Jet Rock has about five to make up on the leader. And a quarter of a mile to do so. Three quarters of 128 and one. The light speed on the lead. He's got a vendetta second on the outside, grinding away. Aladdin is right there from third. Moving well out of the backfield is Jet Rock with an eighth of a mile to go. But it will be tough to catch. The light speed, the light speed. Still has it by two, maybe three. Jet Rock is charging, but time is running out. The light speed is going to win it. Tight for place, the mile 157. Well, let Guy Gagnon, the winning trainer and driver. The light speed just went over $100,000 on this single season. That's his 14th winner of the year. 
The light speed in 157, 27 and 3, 58 and 3, 128 and 1, the mile 157 flat. Little Manny and Real Ruby's at play, but it is Make It Come True trying to get it home. He's getting leg weary now, charging down the center of the racetrack. Here comes smiling Billy the Kid to win it. Make It Come True second, Real Ruby's at play, and Candid Cameron in 157 and 1. Here comes the winner of race 11. It's number nine, Smiling Billy the Kid. A big gelding, five years old by Better Than Cheddar. Out of the grin from ear to ear mare, frown upside down. Owned by Jean Allaire, along with Gina Bregagnolo and trainer Yves Tessier. Second winner on the program for the drummer, Pascal Barube. Smiling Billy the Kid, ninth of the year. Tonight's mile, 157 and one. 28 and 1, 58, 126 and 3, the mile 157 and 1 fifth. Higangyo in the light speed recaptures top spot in the open pace. Live racing returns Thursday, first post, 4 o'clock.